So the Trump lead is now widening over uh, Joe Biden. And and why is that happening? What happened with, with Joe Biden? And why is it that despite approving a Bitcoin ETF and an Ethereum ETF, why are people still anti-Joe Biden? And the answer comes down to the SEC and Elizabeth Warren. They have both been an anchor around the neck of the Biden administration when it comes to cryptocurrency. Now, if you notice, the SEC is the place that approved the Bitcoin ETF, but not without fights. Uh, the Ethereum ETF, it looked like they were not going to approve it until at the last moment, three days before the approval deadline, uh, they came in and they made the approval, but they made it look like it was not going to happen. They made it look like it was going to be a problem. They made it look like there was no shot. And then they come out and turn it into a thing and then take it one step further there's not been anything positive being said in the United States about cryptocurrency since ever. Uh, if you were go back and just recall, the Obama administration didn't have anything positive to say about cryptocurrency. The Trump administration didn't have anything positive to say about cryptocurrency. The Biden administration didn't have anything positive to say about cryptocurrency. But cryptocurrency continues to grow in the hearts and minds of a lot of American citizens. And Donald Trump recognized that, seized upon that moment, and he said, look, if you vote for me, you're going to get innovation. You're going to get all these companies moving back to the United States. If you vote for Joe Biden, then be prepared to fight because they're not pro-crypto. And by the way, it should be noted that the Biden administration, in my opinion, I'm not, I'm not a I'm not a political expert, but in my opinion, they are going to do whatever the bank wants. Okay. And when I say the bank, we should just consider that they're all one big gigantic entity of screwing people over. So what is going on right now? Liz Warren and her anti-crypto army. The fact that what she's doing is number one, she's she's going out there and she's telling you how bad all of these wild allegations are. Well, by the way, and I'm not saying that that crypto isn't or cannot be used for um, for terrorism or drugs or anything like that. There is a cost to freedom. There is a cost to freedom. And our constitution was written for that because there is a cost for freedom. And what she's doing is she's taking that and she's trying to take away your freedom in that regard. She doesn't want you to have access to your own money. She only wants you to use her bank approved government money. That I mean, that really is what this comes down to. It, again, at least in my opinion. Now, um, is this going to win them an election? Nope. And, and I do want to point out, what else did they do? Well, they turned marijuana from a Schedule 1 to a Schedule 3 uh, drug. That was huge. That's that's gigantic. And that should have made a lot of young people say, oh, wow, we should be looking at the Biden administration. They're getting it. D didn't happen. Uh, well, actually, you know what? I shouldn't say that. Um, the the Biden uh, Biden did have a lead for a short period of time uh, around the time of that legalization comment and when he changed it to a Schedule Three because that was a good first step. Um, but it's not enough. It's it's not enough because you know, look, you can go back all you want and you can find. Um, uh, I mean, let's let's face it. Nobody in three or four years found anything on Hunter Biden's laptop. Nobody. Uh, however. That did lead to, well, let me rephrase it. Uh, they, they did find out that that led to uh, tax evasion charges so uh, and gun possession charges. You know, there, there, there were actual charges that came out of it, but nothing concerning Joe Biden, which was what everybody told you for four years uh, was on that laptop. They lied to you. But it doesn't really matter because it's the perception of what they thought was going to, because all you have to say is, the big guy. And then MAGA goes, yeah, that's exactly what they did. George, it's the, big, the big guy. He's the big guy. You know, no evidence. All of Republicans, it didn't matter whether it was Matt Gates, it didn't matter it was uh Bruiser Brody. What's her fucking name? The 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 giant monster, Marjorie Taylor Queen, trailer queen, whatever her name is. Um, didn't find anything. They, they just talk a lot. They just talk a lot, but they have no evidence to back any of this up, right? However, it was enough in the public ethos, uh, or ethos that, you know, this created a problem for this administration. And it continues on. It continues on because the Biden administration um, maybe didn't directly collude with some of these social media platforms, but they did um, request that um, Hunter Biden's dick pics were not part of uh, whatever, uh, you know, uh, they, they did ask that they be taken down on Twitter. 
But the, the media also suppressed the story. And look, when you say that the election was rigged, I don't say um, I, I, I don't say that it was actually, quote unquote, rigged, if you will. Um, but that shouldn't have happened. Everybody should have, ac have access to the information. And where we are right now is people remember that people know that this did not happen, that there, there you know, there's this there's this massive uh, cover up, if you will, that that happened. And that leads us to right here and right now. And it is my opinion, there's nothing Joe Biden's going to be able to do uh, to gain back the trust of the American people in that period of time, because he's slowly but surely eroding it. And look, doesn't matter whether Donald Trump is guilty or innocent. None of that matters at this point. It doesn't really matter. Uh, what matters is uh, the government uh, has been framed as the deep state that they've always said that it is. And you can't win on that. So uh, it is my belief that Donald Trump is going to end up winning when this is all said and done. And it will be in, in part because of Liz Warren, in part because of the SEC. And it, 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 there's just absolutely nothing that can be done. Now, taking a pro-crypto stance may have strengthened Donald Trump's lead uh, in, in the uh presidential race, uh, at least if you go by the prediction markets. In the past week, Trump has promised to commute the sentence of Ross Ulbricht of Silk Road. Um, and, and by the way, I, I don't know that Ross Ulbricht um, is going to be the, the thing that moves the needle, but it is a move and it is a pro-crypto move. And he vowed to make the U.S. a leader in digital assets. It's a market more solicitous stance than the Biden administration has taken. Over the same period, Biden, uh, yes, shares on predicted an election betting platform uh, it have slipped from 46 to 44. Each share pays out $1 if Biden is reelected and nothing if you lose it. Effectively, the 44% price means the market sees a 44% chance he will be reelected. That's a tough, that's a lot to, and by the way, that's not a lot to overcome. Let me rephrase it uh, because I think Hillary Clinton had a big lead at some point uh, before James Comer helped her uh, lose an election. But I, you know, I, I, I you know, um, and, and by the way, FBI should never interfere in elections. Uh, and the FBI interfered in the 2016 election uh, for both parties, by the way. So when I, you know, when, when I say that, um, you know, eight days before the election, uh, James Comer comes out and publicly says, yeah, we're investigating Hillary Clinton for some shit. And that's eight days for an election. She was up at that point and that swung the election back. So anything could happen for Joe Biden, but I don't see it at this point. Polymarket, which technically bans U.S. residents from using its service, has shown a similar shift in the odds. Trump has gained two percentage points on the platform over the last seven days, putting his odds at 56 percent, while Biden is down to 37 uh, percent. The, pol the polls are shown neither as a dramatic gap between the two candidates nor as dramatic a shift in the last week. Uh, poll uh, Trump's Trump's polling lead has climbed just 80 basis points to 1.7% at the 538 averages, which is usually a good predicator of who will end up elected. And let's face it, it, it really doesn't matter how Californians vote. They're going to vote Joe Biden. It doesn't really matter how Floridians vote. They're going to vote Donald Trump. Um, the red states are going to be the red states. The blue states are going to be the blue states. However, it's the purple states. It's the Minis it's uh, Michigan's. Uh, it's the um, uh, Wisconsin's. It's the now Arizona's. You know the, these purple states. It's how they're going to vote. And it looks to me like it's at this point pretty much a landslide for for Donald Trump. There's always going to be some people who just oh, I can't tolerate and I can't believe that a guy who says dirty words could ever be president of the United States. I mean, get the fuck out of here. Um, and it wasn't JFK banging Marilyn Monroe. Um, you know, there, there's scandal after scandal after scandal in the white house. The fact that we have social media doesn't change anything. Uh, Trump is most likely going to win this election and there's not very much that we can do. And that is great for crypto because it's going to lead to uh, a pump. And, and that's what we're looking for, right? We want a pump. We want to see this market erupt. And that is what you're about to see, at least in my opinion. Uh, now, you can also consider that um, uh, the last bull rally was Joe Biden, right? But that's not true. It's just every four years happens to come around that election time. You know what I mean? So uh, let's see how this breaks out and we'll see how it happens. But most of these um, uh, most of these um, uh, people right now are probably right. Now, if the SEC shifts its policy, and Joe Biden legalizes weed, I take back everything positive that I said. You know what I mean? Uh, because then it would probably be a little bit too much. But uh, we'll see how this whole thing uh, plays itself out. Uh, in the meantime, uh, 
I, at this point, vote Trump 2024 if you want cryptocurrency. Again, that's despite the fact that Bitcoin and ETF spot, uh, e the, the spot ETFs were done by the Biden administration. I don't think they're pro crypto. I think that they're just having to follow the laws that they keep losing on. Again, I don't think that they're pro-crypto. I think that they're just approving it because they don't have a choice.